Here's another sad and sorry specimen. This is an eMachines W3502 desktop PC. Let's take a look at the specs. It's got a Celeron D. Let's see if I can move that. There we are. Celeron D3052, uh, 3.2 gigahertz. 533 front side bus and 512 L2 cache. Video, it's got ATI Radeon Express 200. Nine in one card reader. I bet it fucking takes, yeah, smart media up here. It takes smart media. One lonely USB port. They don't even give you any USB ports down there, but they do give you audio jacks. And I think it had an 80 gig hard drive, 512 meg of DDR RAM. Wow! 10100 Ethernet. Could you imagine the luxury? And 56K modem and five USB ports. So four on the back and that stupid one. DVD ROM. CD burner, and that's it. It's just your plain Jane system. Let's open it up. Oh, this one's got thumb screws. This is high end shit. I'm not used to systems with thumb screws. You know, sometimes this happens where the case just doesn't want to pop, so. You just smack it like that and it pops. Taking a peek inside, I'll see if I can lower the tripod here. I just happen to have it handy, so. Some dirt. Caps look good. Yeah. It's all there, IDE. You know, floppy connector, no floppy drive, of course. So who needs that? It's got a Cooler Master cooler on it. Rear case fan. Wow, this thing is fully fucking loaded. Look, it even has, do you see that? It's even got fucking serial ATA. Wow, maybe this thing isn't that bad after all. Is that it? I can't tell on the camera. Yeah, right there. Maybe this thing isn't that bad after all. God only knows if those ports are actually able to be accessed. So what the hell am I doing with this piece of crap? Well, somebody gave it to my dad and my dad said, here. So I hope he's not going to want this back one day because the machine he has is just about as obsolete as this. He's still running XP. In this day and age. So I guess I'll keep the side panel off. Put it over to the side there. And what are we going to do with this thing? Well, when Lexmark's 567 was over he said that he has a couple of old games that need to run in XP. They won't run in Windows 7 or Windows 10. And as such, he'd like uh, some sort of rig. So, this thing is uh, rigged enough. It's factory original. I mean, there's nothing out of place. Everything is here, even the knurled thingamajobber up here to take the drive out. Everything in here is 100% as is from the factory. Turning around looking at the back, it's just what you'd expect. There's a modem down at the bottom. Sound, four USBs, Ethernet, video, serial and parallel. Dude, why am I getting rid of this thing? Shit, it's got everything. 
and of course PS2 keyboard and mouse. So, uh, last I knew this thing booted, let me get it hooked up, we'll try booting it, and um, we're going to end up reinstalling the operating system, doing a fresh install for Lex, and then we'll send it out to him. Uh, first things first, we do have to run diagnostics. As nice as the system looks, it definitely needs some diagnostics run, and those are going to run overnight just to make sure everything is working properly. Well, let's see if it'll boot first. Okay, you know what time it is. Smoke test! No bang so far. We hit the power button, the fans run. There we go. Excellent. Let's just see if it'll boot. Hey, looky there. And it looks like it's actually booting. It's running. It's running fine. I have no idea who these people are. If you recognize your picture, shame on you. Delete your shit before you get rid of your stuff. Wow. McAfee Security Center updates. Let me see if I can straighten this out for you. It. Check the camera here. That's pretty good. So, yeah, this has got like all the free shit you could ever have on it. Unclaimed funds, somebody's name, um, doesn't seem very responsive, it's still loading and doing stuff, I mean it does only have uh, 512 mega RAM, Lotus, I don't know, they don't know, they never did know. I don't know, I just hit cancel every time. I don't know what it is, my granddaughter put it on there. You ever run into those folks? No, you don't, nobody actually works on PCs anymore. You just throw them the fuck out and buy new ones. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> there's not much here to see. E-Machines documentation. Should I actually save that? Will it give me properties on it even? There's a system recovery folder. I think I actually had tried that and obviously it didn't work. Which means we're going to install via OEM disk. Yeah, I guess this thing would have to sit for a while, so let me let it sit and cook, and maybe it'll come back and give me what I need. Ah, it wants to connect to America Online. What a ridiculous fucking thing. Anyway, it appears to boot and work. Uh, let's see, just for just for shit's sakes, what happens. See, and you cancel it, a ghost comes right back. Uh, if you go to the system recovery... Oh. Create my driver's application CDs. Do you want to burn a CD or create an ISO image? How about create an ISO? Put it on the desktop. Uh, 
Um, well, maybe this will work. Start creation. Oh, I did it already back in the day. CD0 and CD1. So I just got to copy those to uh, a flash drive. And then we could try that. I don't know if they'll work. If they do, great. You know, that way you get like the factory friggin' install. Let's just check actually and see properties. 624. That's 474. So apparently it is doing stuff. But they don't. Let's hit a board. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. These are the two ISOs. I'd have to burn them, so that'll be a project for another day. But the other thing in here is application and driver recovery. Like, is one of those disks the actual Windows disk? Please select the applications you want to install. Mm, nope, that's not going to help. And there's no way to go and really launch the recovery thing it show well it does show a drive D it was showing that before and that does have recovery on it but God how do you launch it oh gotta connect to AOL it the drive doesn't want to open Yeah, I mean, it's there. All the stuff is there. So I'll do a little research on that. So I guess what we'll do is we'll try to shut it down gracefully. Uh, turn it off without installing updates. Uh, the drive pops. That's good. Pop in the diagnostics. And uh, I'll see if I can get that to launch. go for immediate burn-in testing. Immediate! Select tests and we're going to test everything except for the crap you don't want to test. Um, that's all there. Don't need to test the optical drive that works. Serial parallel modem ATA, USB stress, keyboard, mouse, joystick, audio, you know, it's all there. Everything's good. So F10 to exit with changes, perform burn-in tests, and it says it's going to break your hard drive and shit. And Alt-S will show us what the hell is going on. It does show as a Celeron D. 3.2 so we'll just let this run for a bit and wait till it goes into the memory to test that and um, that's going to wrap this part up the next part I'm going to capture those ISOs that are on the desktop well, first, actually, I'll do some research and see if it could actually recover from the recovery partition on there. See if there's any way to do that. In fact, it might be in that user guide, which I did save already. So that's good. I'll check that out and see if it has like a magic keystroke combination or something. And if it does, we'll recover right from the hard drive. If not, then I'll be burning those ISOs. That's it. So... That'll wrap up this part. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.